the, I, yes, I see okay. your request, right? Yes, Lord, no, yes, it yes. Is. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Yes, yeah, fine. So let's play. Let's pray for Miss Riley. Maybe all of us. Let's all pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mashallah. Bo- bo- anyone else? Bo- 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 Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Father God, again, we thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah, Father. We lift up Miss Riley before you. We commit Sister Riley before you right now. Oh God, whatever the issue, whatever the problem might be. Father, Lord God, you know in the name of Jesus. And dear God, we ask for divine intervention. In the name of Jesus, we ask for God that you might step into the situation. Lord, let there be no distance in the realm of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, as we touch and we agree in regard to this circumstance, dear God, this issue as it presents itself, Father, Lord God, may the hand of the Lord be stretched forth right now. May the hand of the Lord divinely intervene right now. Father, may your perfect and which comes concerning Miss Riley, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every illness, every sickness, every disease, we rebuke in the name of Jesus, we invoke the power of the blood over spirit, her soul and body, in the name of Jesus, as the word be released, let the word find expression, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth, Makata, address the issue that needs to be addressed, dear God, Makata, perfect that which concerning Miss Riley in the name of Jesus, Mama, Misha, be Lata, Melete, Bibele, Bakutumba, Kantabu, Shadi, Lete, Bibi, Kutum, Lete, Bibele, Ikolo, Shatai, Lete, Bibi, Kete, Bibele, Misha, Mama, 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 Makutum, Kantabu, Sete, Bibi, Kutolo, Shadaba. Lord, in Jesus' mighty and ask for me her loved ones, God. Yes, would you bless her to God and yes, hear the cry daddy. of her heart in mm. the mighty name of Jesus Hallelujah. I also take this opportunity Lord God to commit all of us to you God even without needs being expressed Lord would you mm. hear the cry of our heart would you attend unto every need every cry mm. in the mighty name of Jesus Hallelujah, Hallelujah. to the Amen. glory and praise of your name because God you yeah. know us yeah. more than we know ourselves. So Amen. I pray God and declare a blessing over everyone in the sounding of my voice. Hallelujah. Amen. And healing with healing. Hallelujah is needed in the name of Amen. Jesus to the glory and much We say thank you. Say thank you. Jesus. Amen. So the theme Hallelujah. So you know that the overall theme is moving forward. But the theme of a sub theme of the theme of today is um, based on Acts 17 and verse 6. Yeah, and it says the part that says they turn the world upside down. So as we read um, the book of Acts, we see you know that the first century believers uh, and the disciples and all the believers they didn't just you know they were not just people who heard and believed in Jesus and then sit back comfortable. It, you know, it meant someone or people who acted on their belief. They acted on what they believed. They didn't just believe and stay put. They acted on the word of God and in the and they did it in the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. which they had received and which we too have received. So the thought in my mind is that as we pray, I would like it to be said of us that we turn the world upside down. Amen. You know, they weren't saying it in a good way. They, it's people who didn't believe were accusing them of turning the world upside down. Well, it, I, I believe the world was already upside down. They were just turning it the right side up. They were turning, the, you know, the kingdom of God was breaking in and they were turning their communities back to God. So may we be people who turned the world the right side up as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray that too, that will also be said of us, that we turn the world upside down as we pray Amen. and seek God. Amen. 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 Um, Glory. I, Glory. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So just before, Sister Diane, do you know this song that says, I am a warrior? I am a warrior, I'm a conqueror. Do you know it? I'll, I'll sing it. If you know it, you can sing it after me. But I'll, let me have a go. I'll, I'll try and sing all of it. Yeah. We, we are no, make, make in the army. We have to fight. We, we may have to die. We have to hold up the bloodstained banner. We got to hold it up until we die. Yes, sir. We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight. We may have to die. We have to hold up the bloodstained banner. We got to hold it up until we die. Brethren, we are going up. We go going up together. We going up to conquer in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, we are going up. Yes, we going up together. Going up to conquer in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, don't talk, no, no, don't talk defeat to me. I am a child of God and I've got the victory. Don't talk, no, no, don't talk defeat to me. I am a child of God and we've got the victory. I am a warrior, warrior, more than a conqueror. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, I am a warrior. Warrior, more than a conqueror, we are overcomers, and we've got the victory, hallelujah, amen. I like it, but I don't know it, and I like this song, so if anyone else knows it and can sing it, do you know it, Sister Diane? Unmute your mic. You're on mute, you're on mute. Does anyone know it? Not okay. so good. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Know Do you know this chorus? I am a warrior. More than I put more than a conquer, more than a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, we are going up. We are going up together. We are going up to conquer. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. We are going up, we going up together, we going up to conquer in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. So we're going up. We're making that declaration that we are warriors and we warriors for God. And the weapons of our warfare, it's not carnal, but it's mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. And it's all right, I said, don't talk defeat to me because I'm a child of God and we've already got the victory. Jesus has already won the victory for us. We must remember that we're not mere, we're not mere men supernatural beings because we're born of the spirit and he lives in us he says we are seated in heavenly places with christ jesus far above all principality and powers and brethren when we are born again we're here to govern what takes place on the earth that's why jesus said pray thy kingdom come and thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven so that's our desire today that his kingdom will come his will be done here on earth as it is in heaven and as we lift up the various situations and circumstances in jesus name hallelujah okay so we're gonna go we're gonna pray as I read verses, I, what I will do, I read some scripture verses and we pray. We are decree them, declare them, or pray into it. Isaiah 54, Isaiah 50 and verse 4 says, The Lord hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning. 
he went with mine ear to hear as the learned. I pray that we will have the tongue of the learned too and that we, we will wake morning by morning and hear what the Spirit of the Lord says to us. And Psalm 45 one says, My heart is indicted in a good matter. I speak of the things which I have, have made touching the king. This is the bit. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Hallelujah. These verses I claim for myself, and I'm saying, let's claim it, brethren, that our tongue will be at the pen of the ready writer, and that we have the tongue of the learned because of the one who we serve. If you want to make that declaration in your life, you just pray it into, into your life and the life of the church, that God's people will have the tongue as, as a pen of a ready writer, and that he waits. Yeah? Uh, Father, we thank you. Thank you Jesus. Thank we bless you, you once Father, again. God, we praise your and we glorify yes. your mighty name. Oh, Hallelujah. Your word yeah, says, O oh God, Hallelujah, the that we will learning. speak with new so, tongues God, in the name of Jesus. Myself, and we pray, O oh God, that indeed our God, tongue will be the tongue God, of the learned in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My tongue, my tongue will be the pain life. of a ready writer. Mama, ma she be be koto. Lata, lata, ma katalabu she let the be be katalaba. Ma katalaba, lato she let the be be kata. How to speak a word in season? Ma katalaba sa ka year ma kunto ma sha katalaba. To say the right thing at the right time. Ma kata, lata, lato she kata. Ma kawa tong ma kata she kato will bring Elton bring Elton. To others in the name of Jesus, Mamma Moshe, be be Kotomba Katalabasa, Kaye, the Tay, be Kata, Ye, or Tom, Makatabasa, Kaye, Kalabasa, Samba, will be the tongue of the learned Mamma Moshe, be be Kotomba Katalabasa, Kalaki, the Tay, be be Kate, the pain of a ready writer, Mamma Moshe, be 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 Kate, Babo, Moshevadabakata, in Jesus' mighty house of name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Another version that did say, My heart is bursting with a new with a new song. Lyrics to my king erupt like a spring. Oh my king, to my king, my tongue is the pen of a poet ready and willing. That's what the passion version says. So may our tongues be as a poet ready and willing. To speak of the beauty, of the goodness, of the greatness, of the power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. And Proverbs 25, 11 says, A word spoken at the right time is like gold apples on a silver tray. Uh, so I just pray that when we speak, our words will be like golden apples presented on a silver tray. I think what that really means is that you speak a word in season, a word that's just befitting for the person's situation and circumstance, that it will minister them in such a way they will know it's God. And I pray today in Jesus' name that somehow, Somebody will hear a word that is like golden apples presented to you today on a silver tray because a word in season was spoken to your heart in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And Isaiah 11, there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his root. And this is it. Verse 2 is what I'm really after. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So some people say this is this, what we, is referred to as the seven spirits of God. I know Revelation talks about the seven spirits of God. I haven't looked into it deeply, but I understand that this, some people say he's referred to as the seventh spirit of Almighty God. And I know when this was spoken, it was spoken about Jesus. But, you know, he lives in us. 
He works in and through us. We are the body of Christ. Mm. So, brethren, let us pray for that. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, knowledge, fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Let us pray for that. For ourselves, for the church, for the people of God. Glory to God. And it's for our ministers, let us pray. And so, Father, Father we God, thank you. We bless you, God. Over we just decree and declare in God. Again, us. Hallelujah. And that the Spirit, the seven Spirit of the Lord, will be operational in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. That the Spirit of the Lord, Hallelujah, will be operational in and now in our life in the name of Jesus that we will be quick of understanding hallelujah the spirit of might hallelujah the spirit of wisdom the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord the spirit of counsel Little D D D Kotumba Shalom Shalaba will be our portion in the name of Jesus, Mama Kete D Kotumba, because Christ will be in our heart by faith, Mama C D D Little D. The last two shall be about Mama shall be about Mama Kotumba, but the last two shall be about Kalabu. Little D D Little D Bakotumba, but the most shall be about Kalabu. In Jesus' name, Amen. And God, we pray for the leaders of the church, those that you have made. Overseers of your people, of God, that they will not operate in that wisdom, that knowledge, understanding, and reverence, fear of you, O God, in the name of Jesus and in the spirit of humility, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Daniel, make me a portion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to. I'm going to ask that the, has anyone got anything to say or share or anyone want to say anything at this stage before we carry on? I can carry on. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be interactive now anyway. We're gonna read all Isaiah 60. Um, and we'll read, I don't know how many of us we can read four verses each. Hallelujah, glory to God. So um, Merle, Merle, would you like to read the first four verses, the first four verses of Isaiah 60, Sister Diane, and then the next four verses, I don't know who else is online, okay. and then Brother Daniel, and All right. I will, I will if anyone begin. else. Arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For from the older darkness shall cover the earth, and gross the darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the kingdom of thy right, brightness, sorry, of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Okay, amen. I send the first four. Amen. Who next? Sister Diane, you're muted. You need to unmute your mic, Sister Diane. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, it's come back on. Yes. Okay. Then thou shall see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be covered unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of the camels shall cover thee. The drum, the drum breeze of Midan. And a part, pardon me, Pastor. No, no, continue, continue, sister. Yeah, okay. Um, of Midian and Ephra, 
all they from Shiva shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The, king. the rams of Nebaoth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are those, these? Who are these to fly as a cloud and as the doves stood windows? Surely the Israel shall wait for me, and the ship of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God, unto the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentile, and that their king may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, those nations shall be utterly waste. Lebanon shall come to you. Cypress, the pine, and the box tree together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. That I will make the place of my feet glorious. Also, the sons of the those who afflicted you shall come bowing to you, and all those who despised you shall fall prostrate at the soles of your feet. And they shall call you the city of the Lord. Zion of the Holy One of Israel, whereas you have been forsaken and hated, so that no one went through you, I will make you an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. You shall drink the milk of Gentiles and miss the breast of kings. You shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer and the Might One of Jacob. Oh, I just, okay, yeah. Sister Mel, back to verse 17. Okay. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thy exalters righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting no destruction between thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more, the sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. For the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy, thy glory. The, the sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people shall also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of thy plant in the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little, a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will ease and it in this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. That's the word of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. When I first wanted to make reference to this, I only wanted to refer to verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Because that's one of my favorite verses. And I wanted to pray that. But as I was doing, I just felt, I know that, it says many great things and so for some night I thought let's read it all today. And the thought that came to me is did as you as we read through this, 
were, were there any verses that kind of stood out to you today? Did any verse kind of minister to you or hit you for any reason or other? Or if you had to choose a verse today, what would it be? Anyone? Verse 15. Where hast thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man wants show thee, I will make them eternal excellence and joy of many generations. And praise God for that. Hallelujah. And why is that? And why is that? Verse 15. Yeah, I was saying, is there a reason for your choice? What? How do I hear that? If there's a reason for your choice. Oh, why you chose that word? A reason. Is there a time when, you know, yeah. you man were being despised and sometimes you feel forsaken, and you may stand up for that which is right. But as the Lord promised that, you know, he'll make an eternal excellency and joy of Amen. many generation. So, you know, we know that there's still right. hope, you know. we still hope. They have had this spice Paul that cast him into prison. But I know, Lord, as he said, I am sure that in glory one day, that all his labor is not in vain. And I'm sure that, you know, when the Lord would bring us together, and when we all realize what is word that you have done, because many of us, many of us have been saved, and we feed on the words of the Apostle Paul that he left behind, you know? The, the word, words, his words, yeah. strengthen us and encourage us. And when the fullness of time come, and he would have seen those that his words have ministered to, because surely the word of God said so we shall know each other better. Then, you know, we can rejoice that the Lord had made us praise that because of his grace. He has given us that eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. And Paul will rejoice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Isn't yeah. that really encouraging? And that's when yeah. that even if men or whoever forsake us, hallelujah, <laughs> all we need to know is that God hasn't forsaken us. And look where he'll bring us no. to an eternal excellence. Thank you for that. That was, that was very encouraging, Sister Mel. Thank you. Anyone else? Sister Diane? You got a verse for us? The first verse we read, Yes. Right time for thy light is come, Amen. and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Mm. We expect in these times that the glory of the Lord would be seen Amen. in and through our lives. Hallelujah. And, yeah. um, you know, uh, many times I feel that the body of Christ is still sleeping, you know. Mm. And um, we're not aware of many things, many uh, um, from the body of Christ in this time don't really know what's happening, you know, um, a lot uh, maybe study the word, know the word, but still it, 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 it doesn't drink through them, you know, it doesn't penetrate through them, they don't have the understanding of what they read, what, what the word says. And you see a lot of Christians still living how they want, doing what they want, you know. But um, um, this force arise, shine. We must be awakened because the glory of the Lord is about to come upon his church, is about to come upon his people. And I think um, our prayer must be, let us be awake. Let us never fall asleep you know, be in the dark about what is happening. Let us um, be aware of everything what is happening in this time, that we would be a part of uh, what the Lord is doing as uh, yeah. um, representatives of him, you Amen. know, and Amen. words. So, um, 
That Sister is that is what I mean. Yes, Sister. Could you stand up for prayer uh, uh, on the basis of what you just said, please? Thank okay. You. Thank you, Sister. Father, we thank you. We mm. always want to thank you. There's so much to thank mm. you for. And we will always be thanking you because your word is food for us. Your word is everything what we need. Your word is, is, is guidance for our lives, guidance for the time we're living in. It is like a pompous, Lord. Amen. We thank you, God, that we can be aware of your word, what your word is saying. And that's why we have prayed before for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord, we ask you for your for spiritual guidance in your word to one and give us the understanding truly the meaning of what your word says lord we don't want to be only um hearers of your word but we want to be doers of your word help to will arise in faith and victory that we will arise in your strength that we will arise with courage and to, to go forward lord and to um achieve things that you have in store for us lord we don't want to miss nothing my god and father and that's why we trust you that's why we're holding on to you that's why we 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 making efforts to know you and to know your will in and throughout our life father god we know that you're able to let everything come to pass what your word says because you and your word is one we thank you father god for the many lord will christians will arise in this time Many eyes would be open. Lord, open the eyes of our understanding, my God. And Father, that's we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus in this time. And Father, give us more and more knowledge in your word through the power and the help of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we wouldn't be able to understand your word without the Holy Spirit. And that's why we're including the Holy Spirit in everything we do in the name of jesus thank you lord you bless us bless our hearts bless our lives bless our mind give us a sound mind oh god and give us good understanding in all what we do to the honor and glory of your name we bless you and we praise you and we give you thanks father that you will help us in jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. 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 hallelujah amen. glory to your name brother daniel was any bless one to um, we could look at um verse five. It says, "Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, and the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee." Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's something on it then, Brother Daniel. And that scripture, basically, he's saying that when the blessing come upon the life, that will be the result. People who you don't even know will be converted unto thee, will come unto thee. 